cannot believe I let you talk me into this. Come on, leave a little. Is enjoying a beautiful day going to kill you? Once you see you teeth into these mangoes, my friend, you're going to thank me for making you come. And your wife, watch. Uh, she'll be all over you tonight. Just tell her, take them for her. Yeah, whatever. I could have bought them at the market. Look, these mangoes. They're the best. Joseph, the best. Shit, the best. Ah, uh, something bit me. Stay still. You don't want it to bite you again. What the hell bit me? Snake. A freaking snake! Tell me that was not a... Tell me that was not a... Isaac, talk to me. What kind of snake was it? It was a... White widow. Oh, man, man. Oh, man. White widow. What are the chances? I'm going to die because of mangoes. Mangoes, Isaac. Why did you bring me out here? Just relax. Relax. Relax? Easy for you to say. You're not the one going to die in 24 hours. I'm not ready to die. I've hardly even lived all my life. What do I have to show for my life? Well, don't just stand there. You got only 24 hours. Make them worth it. I'll bring you some mangoes. I need to talk to you. I said I need to talk to you. So speak, Joseph. I'm listening. Well, then, can you stop what you're doing to give me a minute of your, a minute of your time? Is that too much to ask for? I'm going to die. I have less than a day's time left. Okay, Joseph. Is this like the last time when you... No, Basim. I've been beaten by a white widow. A white widow? Oh, oh Joseph. Well, don't bring for me here. There's more I need to tell you before I die. I don't love you. I never have. I always wanted to marry Mila. And the only one good thing that could come out of this is that this marriage is over. You are a miserable man, Joseph. And to think that I wasted half my life with you. You should have done us both a favor and told me this sooner. Or dropped dead sooner.
Mr. Mbatia, getting in some work on your day off. Where's Kepa? He's in a meeting with a prospective client. I'll let him know in case you need. See him. So, ladies and gentlemen, expect more changes. Joseph, wait for me outside. This is a private meeting. Oh, you're in the middle of an important meeting. This will only take a moment. I'm here to thank you for being such a wonderful boss. Here's my token of appreciation. <laughs> Treated me like a no for Cuban. <coughs> I'm a man, Mr. Keba. And a man deserves respect. What the hell do you want? You do remember me, Okello, don't you? <laughs> yeah. You did not merely used to date. <laughs> I used to beat with you in grade school. I see your IQ hasn't gotten any higher. What? Just remember who did this. Something I've been meaning to tell you. I thought you were the girl I was going to marry, but then Okello came along and you wanted nothing to do with me. I, I cursed the day I let him steal you away from me. If you would have been my wife, I'd be a happy man. I've always loved you. <laughs> my husband wouldn't appreciate you talking to me this way. I don't care about your husband. We were meant to be together. He ruined it for us. He, he's a big moronic. Where's, where's my husband? Mira, okay, no? Mila, please just hear okay, me. Okello? 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 Hey. Okello? What? what the hell did you do to my husband? He's just unconscious and temporarily paralyzed. Now, can I finish what I was saying? Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Mila, I know this looks bad. Get out of my house. I'll call the police. Get out of my house. Get out. Give me the strongest thing you got. Joseph, you don't drink. Hmm? Stop playing games. Hmm? Now, what brings you here? I'm leaving it up. Can I have a drink now? All right, boss. Whatever you say.
Go tell your friends. A dead man's got some money to get off his hands. Why are you so eager for me to die? What, me? Of course not. Listen, I have to tell you something. No. I don't want to die before I get a chance to say this. All my life, you're the brother I never had. And now that my life has come to an end, you're the one thing I'm going to miss. Isaac, I love you. Joseph, I? No, Isaac. Nothing of this earth concerns me anymore. Thank you for your friendship. And I ask you to, to let me die here in peace. At your humble footstep, the minute approaches. Yeah, that will be great for business. <sighs> Look, Joseph. Before this day, I did not know what life meant. Now I know, but it's too late. My destiny has come. A strange calm has come over me. I've never felt so at peace. I'm ready now. Isaac, I'm still alive. Why am I still alive? <laughs> well, yesterday when you had a dog, the snake passed by me once more, and I took a better look at it. Yeah? Well, <laughs> funny thing is, uh, it wasn't a white widow. It was just a harmless bush snake. <laughs> a harmless bush that snake? wonderful news? A harmless bush snake? Mm -hmm. I was ready to die. What am I going to do now? Leave Joseph. Leave. I already lived too much the last 24 hours. How am I going to go on? My wife despises me. Mila thinks I'm a psychopath. I lost my job, I blew up my life savings, and Okello will be after me before the sun goes down. Be a man. Then all you have to do is wait for Okello. I'm glad my mortality is funny to you. Guess what? Those mangoes were no good. They were past their prime. Don't talk to me about mangoes. Oh! Look, there goes your wife. Ah, uh, Miss Bathia! <laughs> I have wonderful news. He's not going to die. Eh? He's not going to die. He's not going to die. Then I'm going to kill him. No, no, I lay my hands on him first. Wait a minute. What am I doing? All my life I ran away. This marks the start of my life. <laughs> 